There is nothing like some creamy, buttery mashed potatoes. And one thing that goes really well with great mashed potatoes is a great meatloaf. Today, I am making the most amazing Beyond Beef meatloaf. It was my first time making meatloaf with Beyond Beef, but I can tell you that it exceeded my expectations. So if you would like to know how to make this amazing meatloaf, let's go. For this recipe, I am using two packs of Beyond Beef. Make sure they are completely thawed out before adding them to a large mixing bowl. I wanted to make the meatloaf with some healthy additions and so I'm using some spinach as well as some bell peppers, you know, just to add a little bit more nutrition to the dish. We got a lot of chopping to do, so let's go. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. To the Beyond Beef, add the onions, the garlic, bell peppers, parsley, thyme, and you can use dried or fresh, some freshly chopped spinach, panko breadcrumbs, and I'm using this brand, some vegan mozzarella, and I'm using Daya, some black pepper, Old Bay seasoning, some cracked pepper garlic seasoning that's completely optional. Smoked paprika. Just eggs. And if you want, you can add two eggs beaten if you're not vegan. And that's it. Now get in there and give everything a good mix. Line a loaf pan with parchment paper and fill with the meatloaf mixture. Smooth the top with a spatula and place in the oven to bake for about 30 minutes. So we're going to add a glaze to our meatloaf and we'll make this by adding one part ketchup and two parts barbecue sauce. We're going to add those to a small bowl and then we're going to mix it thoroughly. So the meatloaf has been baking for about 30 minutes. 
I'm going to take it out of the pan and remove the parchment paper. And I'm doing this so that the meatloaf itself can absorb as much of the glaze, you know, and not the paper, <laughs> all right? But this is completely optional. If you want, you can add the glaze without removing the paper. Add the glaze generously to the top and if you can to the sides of the meatloaf. Um, you can even put a little bit at the bottom of the pan before you return the meatloaf, okay? And then return the meatloaf to the oven for the last 10 minutes. It is finished! Now to plate and cut the meatloaf. Guys, look at this. It's a beautiful meatloaf. <laughs> it looks so appetizing. So now for the cut. This is my first time using Beyond Beef as a substitute and I'm telling you, we really and truly enjoyed this. Look at how moist when you cut into it. Look at that. Well, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope that you try this recipe out. If you do, please leave a comment below and let me know how it turned out and how you enjoyed it. Okay, until the next time, stay safe.